Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4. And right now, Rost is going to start teaching Alloy how to hunt, how to survive out in the wild. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, Wolf of Wolfettes, and do it. Okay, so first up, we need to gather some berries. Alloy, come now. Gather the berries. I'm, I'm coming, mate. I'm coming. Um, I'm listening to his voice, and he sounds like he sounds like somebody I've heard before. If any of you guys know what other voice acting this dude has done, let me know in the comments, because I've heard that voice in so many places, but I can't think where. Good. Now eat the berries. Okay. Now, uh, if you look up there where my health bar is, you see that bar underneath that green bar. That's going to be your healing bar. As you pick up berries and uh, leaves and stuff, your green bar will increase with energy. And then that is pretty much how much you can heal. So if you've got no energy in your green bar, you're not going to be able to heal. So make sure you keep picking up stuff. It's, uh, it's a little bit similar to Far Cry Primal, actually. Don't worry, Rost, I'm not a noob. I know what I'm doing. This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. We haven't seen any machines yet, so uh Yeah, I mean it seems like a pretty safe area. They must be doing a good job. I mean I hope a thunder jaw doesn't come walking along now because I'll shit myself because I'm not even prepared for that. <laughs> I don't think I've had a fight with a thunder jaw at all yet. We'll find a herd of machines. And I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. I've got to be honest with you, Rost. I don't really want to be hunting machines. Can't we start off hunting something like small, like a mouse or a rat? Or maybe go a little, do a little bit of rabbit hunting? Why have we got to go straight for the machines? That seems a bit far, mate. I've only just picked up a bow. Okay. There. Now stay low. They don't want No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Now, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the Watchers when I get a chance, because I suppose Rost is going to start talking to me a lot, and he's oh, going to interrupt me. One. I don't like talking when characters are talking. I think there's another one coming. Yep. Come, back this way. I'll move, tell ya. The quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. It's absolutely astounding how smooth the frame rate is. I mean, I know it's not 60 FPS, but even for 30 FPS, it's smooth as hell. I mean, there's not been any drops or anything, and you see the quality of these graphics. I mean, look at this. Look at these visuals, and the game just runs perfectly. You know, and I've been playing this on my own quite a bit, and I've been fighting some uh, big groups of dinosaurs at times, and it is just so smooth. It's ridiculous how great they've done. Because I think they've been making this game for about six or seven years. Shows what you get if you give somebody enough time to develop a game. That's why you shouldn't rush a game, you know? Let's move on. That's why you get things like Uncharted 4 and stuff like this, you know, when they have enough time to develop a game. It's, it's brilliant, you know? Obviously, you can make a game quicker, but then they end up terrible or just boring. Did well, they didn't see or hear you. I know they didn't. Close. That herd should be just ahead. Okay then. I like how she's walking. Look how she's walking. Proper strutting her stuff, isn't she? Walking like a total badass. Like, look at me, everyone. I'm Alloy the Legend. <laughs> oh, look at that. She does like a little skip. No, I can't do it. Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling. 
shooting at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. I don't know. I mean, the, the, the tribe does seem a little bit bitchy. I mean, look how they've been treating Alloy. I mean, I'm not sure what Alloy has done or what her family has done, but they're treating Alloy like absolute shit, ain't they? And she's, you know, she's a little kid. What's she done wrong? God, look at that sun. That is a nice sun, ain't it? Nice bit of uh, lens flare up there. Fucking hell. Oh, now this is where it gets a little bit like Far Cry Primal. You want to pick up as many resources as you can in this game because you're going to need wood and you're going to need metal shards and stuff to make arrows so make sure you do keep stocked up on all of the materials you know because you don't want to you don't want to have a fight with something like a thunder jaw and then halfway through the battle you realize you run out of arrows and you've got no more supplies because that is a sticky situation to be in you know <laughs> and i don't think punching a uh, thunder jaw is going to be very good there, i want to try and find some them? more leaves these are called striders where oh look at them i didn't even notice them what are they, cows? They're like cows. Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. I can't get over the visuals. Look how beautiful this is. And this is just a normal PS4 now, I'm playing on. I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Do they specifically have to fit in the cup of my hand? Can't I just pick up any rock I want? That seems rather specific, doesn't Good. it? Good. That's it. Those will do. Follow. Okay, I'm just going to grab a few more just in case, because uh, if we need to throw these at something and it requires good aiming, then I'm most likely going to foul, so I better get a few more. <laughs> it's like every time you mention stealth and being quiet, I panic a little bit, because I'm not I'm not very good when it comes to stealth. I, I'm, I'm good at doing stealth things, but then I get very impatient with all the slow walking, and then I start rushing, and then I get seen. That's probably the main reason why I haven't started playing Metal Gear Solid 5 yet. Oh, here we go, look, some leafs. There we go, lovely. I'm just going to have a little look around. I mean, look at this. Look at that view. It's amazing. <laughs> I love I, I, I love it. Can I tell you, Sony, if you watch this video for whatever reason, then you need to give Guerrilla Games a medal. You need to get off your asses and give them a nice big shiny medal. And give them all a promotion as well. Stop they definitely deserve time. one. I'm not wasting time. I was panning the camera around. It's not my fault Gorilla Games made this game so beautiful. Stop giving me grief, Rost. I'm coming. I've only got tiny little legs. Aloy, come now. Oh, fuck it. I'm coming. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Now if I throw a rock now and be an, an annoying little gear, will he end up dead? Where is he? Aloy, throw rock near me. Okay, I'll try. What a beast! Look at that! He wrecked it! <laughs> what a boss! There. Come, girl, it's safe now. I sort of wondered why the hell you gave me a bow if I'm never going to get the chance to use it. I mean, flipping hell. I like shooting things, you know?
Now that eye underneath the uh, compass, it's similar to uh, Oblivion, you know, and Skyrim, where uh, the more open the eye is, the louder you're being. And if it starts having those little marks, that probably means you're being very noisy. If it's slightly closed when you're uh, walking, then I think that means you're still hidden. So uh, pay attention to that eye. I'm just gathering up some wood and stuff because I think he's going to tell us to build some arrows now. So I want to get all the supplies quickly. Here we go. Get some more medical uh, herbs. Harvest the so. kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Okay then. Metal shards and wire. Use the stocks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. Now, uh, one thing you do need to remember in this game, I'm going to let you know now, because I don't think the game really mentions it. But every time you find metal shards, you're going to need them to make arrows and other supplies. But you also need metal shards to buy things from vendors and traders and stuff. So uh, make sure you keep an eye on your uh, metal shard stock, because if you make too many arrows, you might not be able to afford some sort of fancy armor at the uh, vendor and stuff. So uh, yeah, keep an eye on your supplies. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Okay then. I think she's adorable with a little bow. I feel a little bit like God of War 4 at the moment, but with, with roles reversed. <laughs> Instead of being a little uh, ginger boy, I'm a little ginger girl. And be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aylin. Strider. One of the weaker machines. And even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study the brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Okay, I'm going to guess another, but I'm going to sort of cheat. A blaze canister. That is his weakness. So, uh, when you scan these, you're going to get little uh, yellow things glow, and then you can uh, attack them for extra damage and stuff. And they also break off, and they're sometimes important items that you're going to need. So if you do shoot these weak spots and they full off, make sure you pay attention to where they drop, because they could actually be a very rare item. It's a canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Okay, then. Hang on a minute. There we go. Ready? Let's do it. Keep firing! Keep firing! He's not dying! There we go. Whew. So we've got some more metal shards and a bit of wire. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. Okay. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Well, what happened? I didn't hear anyone scream. That stuff I picked off the floor, Blaze, is a pretty important item, so make sure you grab it. I think we're going to need it for, the, for another mission later on in the game. Probably the next video, actually. So yeah, make sure you grab up that Blaze. Did you guys hear anyone shout? Because I didn't hear anyone shout. I mean, I've got my TV quite low down in volume. I remember when I used to wear a headset underneath this wolf mask. I'll tell you, it gave me such a jaw ache. I don't know how wearing a headset can give me a jaw ache, but it did. So I can't actually wear it anymore. <laughs> I have to rely on the subtitles. And have the telly pretty much muted.
only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it'll cause a stampede and trample him. But I can see the past they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Well, no, thanks to you, Rost, I don't actually have my bow anymore. So now things are going to be considerably harder, all thanks to you, you son of a bitch. Right, now, if you um, if you use your uh, augmented reality device, I'm not sure what it's called, but if you, uh, if you look at these, um, at these uh, watchers, and then you press um, R1, then now we can see the path that this watcher is going to take. Now, so one thing you have to be careful when it comes to watchers is they can do a few things. One, watchers will alert other animals of your presence. So things like the striders will just run away. And if you're trying to hunt them because you need supplies, then you're going to lose your opportunity if they run far away. But another thing that they also do, if you're, um, if you're like, if there's a thunder jaw in the area, which is like a T-Rex, and also a bunch of weaker animals like these guys, the striders, then the watcher will actually run over to the T-Rex and let him know where you are. So then you'll have a T-Rex trying to kill you. So you've got you to gotta try and be careful around these watchers. You don't really want to be seen. You want to try and take these guys out stealthily or from a distance, you know. God, they're everywhere, aren't they? We're trying to get to the wounded boy at the moment. I mean, the only reason he fell on his ass was because he was monkeying around pretty much. You see him jumping around the mountains like some sort of gorilla. What's he doing? If he wasn't doing all that crap, he wouldn't have fell on his ass. I'm surprised he's even alive. I mean, look how high he fell from. He was pretty much somewhere around there, wasn't he? So he fell from quite a big high. He's got to have at least broke a leg. <laughs> Is there any more watchers? I need to see their paths. Shit, I'm, I, I think this might be a bit risky. Quick, quick alloy, get in the bush. There. Let's uh, scan this dude over here so we can see where he's walking. The visuals on these dinosaurs is insane. Right, we're going to have to wait for him to walk back over there, I think. We could have gone then, I suppose, but we don't want to risk it. We don't want to get spotted. We'll wait for him to walk over to that strider. If I had my bow, we could try and stealth take him down, but obviously we can't do that now because Rost is an idiot. Okay. There we go. We did it. Is this snow? Oh no, sand. How you doing, mate? Could you imagine being rescued by a little girl? Because obviously he's like, he's a man, you know, he's the big strong dude. And he's being rescued by a small little girl now. I bet he feels like a right little... <laughs> a right little pansy, you know. Okay, I think we can... Okay. Because I'm a legend, Ted. I'm an absolute legend, my friend. That's how it's possible. And you nearly got spotted by the Watcher then because you weren't moving your ass. I know you just fell off of a cliff, but you've got to hurry up, my friend. You've got to move it or we're going to end up dead. Not only am I going to die, you're going to die. We're going to wait for this one to go away because I'm not sure. Oh, look, the weakness is its eye, see? <laughs> 
Okay, now's our chance. Considering this was a stealth section, I reckon I did pretty well. Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Boy! Save me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Oh god, I don't know what to do now. You actually get a choice of what you should do. Knock the rock from his hand, drop your rock, aim for his head. I'm going to knock the rock from his hands. I don't want to throw a sink at his head and then cause more problems because then he's going to go back to the tribe and start crying like a little girl. So we're going to knock the rock out of his hand. Makes us look like a badass as well, doesn't it? My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Okay. Holy hell, that was a flipping great montage, wasn't it? I love the bit where she just rolls and then randomly turns into an adult. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to end it for today, Wolf Wolf X. We're going to have to find out what's happened to Rost in the next video. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh! <laughs>